Guys, today I'm going to show you how to add a little bit of pizzazz to your dog, a little bit of color, safe color, and that's the important thing. There are a lot of products out there that would not be safe to use on your dog, but this particular product by Opaws is definitely safe for your dog. It's gentle and it's easy and fun and semi-permanent. It will last for maybe two, three washes, depending on the color of your dog's coat. And also the pink color and the purple color tend to last longer. They say up to one to two months. We're gonna get into this. This product is very affordable, it's fun. I have linked it below if anybody's interested in going and checking it out. So let's open it up and see what's inside. We have 10 different colors. These are called blow pins. I'm gonna show you how to add color to your dog's ears, tail, even a little color tattoo, maybe. I'm gonna show you how to do that with your pet. And these also are smear proof. There's a method to how to properly use them. We're gonna need a hair dryer. Let me show you how this works. Your dog is gonna need to be clean, brushed out, and dry. Make note that you definitely are to avoid contact with eyes on your pets, guys. It says right here for a caution. You're supposed to make sure you store your cartridges properly so they don't dry up on you and you can reuse them again. Definitely avoid contact contact with the eyes. Poodle's ready, he's clean, he's dry, he's brushed, dematted. I'm gonna add some Christmas color to these ears and to his tail. So we take our blow pen, I'm gonna use three different colors in his ears. I feel like these are Christmas colors to me. The green, red, and yellow. I'm not sure how well his hair's gonna color because he actually has a little bit of hair color to his own natural color, which is more of an apricot color. How these pens work, we take the lid off and you pull out the ink cartridge and you flip it around and insert it down into where it actually has a hole where you can express the color. Then you place the cap back on. This is where you're gonna blow and the color will come out here. And you're supposed to be about five inches away. I see a little bit of color on the towel, but the yellow is not coloring him up. I'm thinking that the yellow is not gonna work well on his coat. So we're gonna try a different right. color. We're gonna try a little red now, guys. And they say to avoid the eyes too, guys. So <laughs> yes, Gus is very easy to work with. All right, let's give her a go. Okay, we got some red. I'm gonna, I want color on the other side too. The more you go over it, the darker it will get. I can see that, it's pretty cool. Now for some green. Okay, now we gotta use our hair dryer. I'm gonna put it on medium heat and low setting. Just drying it. Oh, I'm liking this. Gus, you look very beautiful. Yes, you do, big boy. Yes, you do. This is just low heat, guys. It's just kind of warm. I could have used my stand dryer, but I want to I want to use what you guys probably have similar at home so you can relate to the process. It looks pretty dry. All right, let's check it out. Slight color does. It's not quite dry, but for the most part, it's drying. So I'm gonna let it dry some more. And we're gonna go over and work on ear number two. I would brush it through too, guys, afterwards, either comb or brush it. That looks pretty. So Christmassy, baby. Let's get some red in these.
part right here. 